Hey, hey you guys, this is Stormy with the capital Z. Welcome to another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. Oh, come on, what the hell is this about? I'm gonna leave it be. I hope it's recording. Yeah, it's recording. We're just gonna continue. Welcome to another Warcraft 3 audio commentary. I'm trying to use OBS. Well, not having the best luck trying to do so. This match is going to be featuring WFZ spawning as the blue undead on the top. 11 o'clock position or is he? No, he is a red undead. He he is playing up against the blue orc known as Lin. Uh, wait a second, that's not Lin. That is Focus. My mistake. My mistake. This is Focus. It's going to be Focus versus WFZ on Turtle Rock. An opposite spawn. Undead versus orc. Be pretty interesting as we see w, WFZ opening up with the DK first build order. And if we come on this side, we have the orc player going for a pretty, pretty standard build as well. And as I like to go over this map again and again, this particular this particular camp is most important. The player who gets a kill on the ogre magi and gets the item drop will have a distinct advantage over the other because of the extra vision. And since this is an opposite spawn, uh, this this location is very very key uh, what are we gonna be seeing in this game I don't know I can't really say we have a voodoo lounge being dropped by the orc player and that player nearly got his DK out or player nearly getting the blade master out runs coming in second burrow not yet or maybe he doesn't have the gold or lumber for that yet here comes the BM. He is going to rush towards the green camp. He is going to get, probably going to kill the big turtle, get the item from it, and then run off. And from what I see here, it seems like the undead player wants to go for the full camp over here. Yep, I was right. Poor player did kill off the big guy and then ran off. The little turtles are following him inside the base and well that's a pretty long route for them to follow selling out his TP buying himself some nice little healing salves gauntlet of ogre strength was found as the item drop and the under player got a cloak of shadows not the most useful item for both of the players as we have the tech coming up for the under player uh, orc player has already begun some time ago and he is already 25% done in doing so that player going to keep this orange camp and uh, where is that blade master blade master is actually creeping on the other side he should be rather creeping uh, this ogre magi but I think he wants to play a little careful and oh you gotta pick that up that is so 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 necessary so he's actually not going for that one for certain reason for certain unknown reason well at least not yet Undead player does have a skeleton warrior near that location and it seems like the old player just wanted to play a little carefully. Focus not going for and oh, okay I just pulled in my screen a little. It always happens. Undead player did not finish off that camp though. Seems like he's going back to finish his business while the old player going for some more creeping at uh, this camp. Don't have any engagements yet and what do we have here? A sixth acolyte don't see that in every game but you do see that in some of the games or player is well or players blade master is completely jacked at this point got all the items in the world boost of speed gloves of haze circlet of nobility healing cells and the gauntlet of uh, ogre strength and that player did reach level 2 and he is going for he going for that one it just seem to me like orc player nearly bounced it seems like the orc player was going for an attack on the skeleton warrior but then changed his mind i don't know if you can actually change your mind while in wind walk like that but you just saw something like that over there and that player uh did go for the uh, the attack on this camp but uh, retreated back seeing the orc player nearby and uh, i don't really know what's he up to now spotting the orc player and the player does not have dust of appearance he's got he got a Loss of attack plus 6 though, by certain something, which uh, we didn't collect, probably that ogre camp at the end. Orc player will 
managed to kill off a few skeleton warriors, get himself some bits of experience points. This is patch 1.28. So... The, the old Blade Master formula still applies. The old Blade Master critical strike will still be intact because we are not at 1.29 yet with these uh, events. Four player now fun once again going after the skeleton warriors, picking them out one by one, and the peeps over here are a bit scattered up. And that player going for some safe creeping at the green camp. Or player is done getting to tier two, and he is even going for tier three. While the orc player's blade master heading towards the fiends, fiends are being attacked. Fiend down to 50% of the hit points, and the DK there to save the day. Nice little block there by the orc player, and I'm just gonna have a uh, not now. Orc player is uh, dominating so far, and there goes the under player getting back to the blight, getting back to safe location. Lich is out. Uh, he is also heading to tier three. Both players. Nearly 50%, well, 50% done, you could say, for tier 3. Slaughterhouse coming up. Work player did get a beastery up and ready, and uh, there's no spirit lounge. There is no spirit log, I mean to say, not lounge. We do have a Wormel coming up. It seems like the work player is going to go for raiders or uh, wind riders, is not really the best option. He's definitely going for raiders and uh, bat riders. Uh, finally, the under player having a dust of appearance using it on the orc player's blade master. Blade master has to be extra careful now. Can't really do the type of damage that it could without uh, that wind walking ability. And uh, under player is attacking that. Uh, well, he wasn't dusted over there a while ago. Now he's dusted. He is dusted. And uh, he's going to come from the other side, but under player will be done creeping the gargantuan sea turtle. Getting his lich some nice little tomes and nice little items. And this camp, as I was saying earlier, it holds so, so much importance. Uh, Orc player staying nearby. Orc player is staying nearby, although he is dusted, I believe. No, he's not dusted. And he went for the... Who got it? Ogre Magi was killed and uh, I'm, I'm a little confused who got that item. It was the undead player, was it? Yep, it was the undead player. Undead player got the item. And uh, he's going to be having a distinct advantage over the orc player just because of that little sentry ward over there. I wish we had more maps like these, more speed spots and key locations like this. And uh, what do we have here? A dark ranger by the undead player. Orc player has also reached three, tier three. And uh, he's going for some Red cam creeping. He's going after the big guy, the ogre lord. Under player is nearby. Under player going to head in there. He's going to try and snipe down the orc player. Orc player is under tremendous pressure. And oh my, who's going to get the kill? Under player got the kill. Under player foiled the ogre lord. He got the kill. The items were definitely picked up by the orc blade, blade master, but uh, he under player definitely got a kill over there. What do we have? Uh, we got a boots of wealth loss. Plus 6 Agility, Speed, Circlet, Gloves of Haste, and of course the, the very very dangerous Orb of Lightning, the Purging Orb. Very very dangerous. Orc player now going for the Gargantuan Sea Turtle, under player coming in, he's going to disturb that creeping. He's gonna go for the Gargantuan, he got the kill! He got the kill on the Gargantuan Sea Turtle with that last of the Frost Nova. Under player is under a lot of pressure. Probably will have to pull out that TP. He's going to TP back. He's going to return safely home. And he's going to kill two orc units in the process while he was TPing back. That was some quick, quick sniping there by the under player. Great move. And uh, back at the orc player's base, we do have a third hero coming up. Raiders and Kodo Beasts coming. Uh, no Spirit Walkers. Uh, Orc player does not want to go for spirit walkers in this game, it seems like. Going for that Gargantuan Sea Turtle camp once again. And uh, Under player seems like he wants to get some experience up on the Dark Ranger now. 
probably the best choice. Uh, I'm not sure which uh, ability did the Underclear train the Dark Ranger with. Is it Silence or is it Black Arrow? Because I don't think we have seen any Black Minions yet. The Dark Minions. Uh, it's uh, And uh, we, don't, we haven't seen any Live Brain yet either. So probably Silence, but we haven't seen any Silence uh, casted yet. Four clear. Uh, we're gonna switch this to population tab. Population tab. Both players maintaining 50 food. And uh, old player going to attack the under player while he was uh, trying to creep at the spot. Under player is under tremendous pressure. He's gonna have to TP back once again. And uh, old player is going to pick up a few units while. Well, no, he's not going to. He didn't manage to kill any units. Old player having that trifecta hero combination, the three heroes. Under player also has three heroes, but uh, what I mean to say is uh, that's really the orc player's strength in this particular match right now. Because he doesn't have any units on the field. Under player has an army. Under player has those spells, those dark minions. Under player can uh, simply overrun the orc player. And the orc player needs to be really careful until his army is up and ready. And as I was saying, both players maintaining 50 food. Uh, that player actually uh, went beyond 50 food just momentarily, but just got back into it. Just, just a moment ago. That, that's it. Just a moment ago. And uh, there's so much action. I wanted to check if OBS was still recording, but I don't know. And uh, that Shadow Hunter is uh, running, uh, running uh, like uh, really so much freely, and uh, it definitely was about to pay the cost for that, but. Uh, Orc player had a potion of lesser invulnerability, and uh, he actually actually had it on both of the heroes. That was good. That was really good. He's coming in with the army. He's going for the damage. He's killing off those fiends. Orc player is dominating this fight. Under player, his army is completely out of position. Orc player is dealing so much damage right now, and uh, there goes another little stomp over there. Under player uh, does have enough mana, and I believe that was a. Uh, that, that graphic looked like a wand of mana stealing and oh just look at that damage the TC did go down but uh, Orclear's Blade Master managed to uh, get a really really hard hitting critical strike and oh no this is really bad for the under player under player oh my talk about talk about uh, getting a save that was something really that was something uh, under player under player's two obsidian statues were out of the range of the TP when the under player used the TP to go back, and we have a shade on the field now, so the wind walking isn't going to be that effective as, as it was so far. And uh, yeah, what I was saying was when the two of the obsidian statues were out of the range of the TP of uh, the DK, and they were about to be slaughtered by the under player, uh, by the orc player, I mean, sorry, the, un the under player transformed one of them into a uh, destroyer he couldn't save the other one but still saving one uh, losing well, what I mean to say is uh, losing one is always better than losing two so yeah you managed to save one you managed to make it into a destroyer a uh, strong strong destroyer he's going to be wrecking the orc player's army and uh, we have level 4 lich level 3 dark ranger the heroes for the under player are leveled up as we see over here the shadow hunter actually reaching level four he see it at level two and uh well he's creeping with all three heroes the experience is going to be scattered up into bits even for the experience points that are gained from a gargantuan sea turtle but just look at it that was a lot of experience points actually even when you're having three heroes just going to go over the items a bit under player doesn't have anything but dust of appearance and uh, that scroll of speed. He does have a circlet now. He just picked it up. Dark Ranger has uh, slipper of agility. Lich has the claws of attack plus six and uh, six, right? Yeah, it's six and uh, this uh, orb of uh, corruption. And uh, was that a shade over there? I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. Coming to the orc player. Orc player's uh, blade master is only level three, but. He is jacked with items and he even got the Scourge Bone Chimes right now. And uh, he's also got the Endurance Aura advantage. So that Blade Master is gonna be that Blade Master is gonna be crazy, really. The DPS on the Blade Master is going to be crazy. 
And there we go, the DPS has begun as uh, we have a melee going on over here. Under clear, managed to kill, off, killing, uh, managed to kill off a, fee, uh, a raider, sorry. He's gonna go after the Kodo Beast now. Kodo Beast did not uh, try to eat anything over there. Orkler should try to consume those fiends. Uh, he consumed a ghoul. Not uh, not the best <laughs> thing to consume, but not the worst either. He managed to lose both of his Kodo Beasts. He managed to lose one more raider, and this is looking really bad for the Orc player. Although the heroes are looking strong for the Orc player, and uh, we got some Berserkers coming from the back end. Uh, we have uh, Banshees on the field this time, and Banshees are having the adapt training. Oh, no, wait, there's just initiate training. Sorry, sorry, I didn't pay attention. And uh, Orc player using that healing wave to its advantage. There goes a nice little stomp. He's gonna go after the... DK, DK, oh no, this is bad, DK is down, oh, that was a misclick, that was a misclick there by the Orc player, and that misclick may just cost him the game, that was a misclick, Orc player tried to go after the hexed DK, but focus could not, well, he just couldn't click on it, there were so many units over there, I'm. Uh, that's really all I can see, he couldn't target it, I know I've been in such situations, and these guys were well, they're trained to be in such situ situations, but you can't really blame them. There were so many units over there, and uh, when you hex a unit, it becomes so small, and uh, it's really difficult to right-click that unit. So uh, He hesitated momentarily before attacking the DK, and uh, when the DK transformed uh, back into the normal... Uh, normal... Form, he TP'd back to the base. So, I've been thinking, was it actually hesitation or was it the purge orb? This thing causes purge and this also dispels magic. So, uh, uh, maybe that's what happened. Maybe it wasn't a misclick at all. He just attacked it and uh, because he attacked it, the purge activated and then uh, the, the hex was out. The hex was out and that, that was it. A uh, nice little save on the Fiend over there. Fiend going inside, burrowing down to save itself, and the other Fiend will not have the same luck. TC down to very low hit points, and TC has been slaughtered. Under player, victorious. Or is it? I will have to check this one out. I'm not exactly very, very sure, actually, you know. Because there are names that are in Chinese at times you don't you're not able to make out what exactly happened over there. Just gonna go over the results a bit. Happens so fast and they don't really say anything and even if they say anything they just say it in Chinese. So WFZ versus Focus. And uh, according to me the Undead player definitely won this one. And uh, how do you results? Ah, uh, you can't see the results here, it seems like. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this really wonderful game. According to me, the Undead player definitely won this bout. And uh, thank you for watching, thank you for listening. Subscribe for more. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much about it. We out. Bye-bye.